determination of lime requirement of soil. Hello students. Today we are going to conduct the practical on determination of lime requirement of soil. Lime is a calcium containing mineral which basically consists of calcium carbonate or limestone. There are several liming materials such as dolomite, calcium carbonate, calcium hydroxide and calcium oxide. Why we add lime to soil? The main reason is to increase the pH of acidic soils. Then we can increase the yield. The lime requirement is defined as the amount of limestone required by the soil to increase its pH to a desired level. The liming reaction begins with the neutralizing of H plus ions in the soil solution by adding a base cation such as calcium which are originating from the liming material. So there are two ways to estimate lime requirement either by pH change or by percentage base saturation change. So today we are going to conduct the practical using the basis of Hutchinson and McLennan's method. Uh, now let's watch the procedure. Procedure this is the brief procedure of the practical. As the first step, you have to weigh out 20 grams of soil into a conical flask. Then add 200 milliliters of 0.01 m calcium hydroxide solution into the same conical flask. Next, seal the opening of the conical flask tightly and you have to place the sealed conical flask on a mechanical shaker for 3 hours to mix and react soil with calcium hydroxide solution. Then, filter the shake solution using a Buckner funnel. Here, we use the vacuum filtration for a speed filtration process. It is done by using a perforated plate Buckner funnel and a sided arm flask. Since we seal the sided arm flask with the cork and connect the tube of the flask to a water aspirator, it creates a suction through the solution in the perforated funnel. At this time, Bernoulli principle is activated. Technically, it refers to as the Venturi effect for a liquid. Within the process, you have to make sure a constant flow of water to continue the suction and filtration. Afterward, pip it out. 50 milliliters of filtrate into a 250 conical flask add 2 to 3 drops of methyl orange indicator into it afterwards titrate the solution against 0.05 m sulfuric acid until the orange yellow color of the mixture turns into pink color then take the end point reading For the blank titration, pip it out 50 milliliters of 0.01 m calcium hydroxide solution into a 250 milliliter conical flask. With the presence of methyl orange indicator, repeat the titration against 0.05 m sulfuric acid solution. Then record the burette reading at the end point. Calculations 
according to the theory, reduction of alkalinity of calcium hydroxide solution was measured by an acid titration. An acidic soil absorbs calcium 2 plus ions from calcium hydroxide solution during 3 hours period of mechanical shaking according to the Hutchinson and McLennan's method. Using this data, the required amount of calcium carbonate to mediate the soil acidity could be determined. This amount is the lime requirement of a given soil sample. Since the concentrations and volumes of calcium hydroxide and sulfuric acid solutions are known, we are able to find the remaining number of moles for calcium hydroxide, which was not absorbed by the soil. Along with that, we can further calculate the required weight of calcium carbonate to neutralize a particular soil sample by using stoichiometry and molecular weights.